welcome to a punk with toys my name is Lawrence today we're going to take a look at the Hasbro Pulse exclusive G.I. Joe Duke vs Cobra Commander now I wanted to do this um, uh, in real time opening them up because we've seen issues uh, with the blisters actually being melted uh, I know uh, Pat Stewart from uh, the Full Force, he said his came melted. I saw another picture of them melted along with the Star Wars, Star Wars figure. I actually did do the video. I completely finished the video. I was about to edit and I deleted everything. So now I'm redoing this whole thing again. And let me tell you, sometimes it can just be frustrating. So anyway, here it is. This is the box that it comes in. Again, nice artwork. You have Duke fighting Cobra Commander and he has his vintage stuff. It's not actually what he comes with on the card. So, open it up. Both cards are in here. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice if you have the other ones, that the cardstock is definitely thicker. They're both nice and straight. It's not too thick. It looks nice. Here's my Storm Shadow. Mine isn't all that bad. I've seen much worse, but this thing here is definitely thicker. It feels nice. So if you're a mint on card collector, I think you're gonna like this. You have to punch the holes if you want to hang it, but again, these are all unpunched. So we'll quickly look at this. Look at this. I think it really looks nice. I'm not sure if it's the exact same image as the uh, Cobra Commander that we got in the 80s. No white border. Again, disappointing. But they did say they they hurt us, and it sounds like that will be changing going forward. And on the back, you have the file card which I've mentioned numerous times, very disappointed. It's five languages. It doesn't really give us a description. That's such a disappointment. I, I can't express that anymore. And we're getting all these file cards. That's just how they're gonna be. It has a cross sell of the six figures that we've already gotten. That's pretty cool. I, I just wish they would have done it like the old vintage. I mean, that's what we really wanted. So on the card, you do get your Cobra Commander. And he actually shows up with this rifle rather than his gun. But everything is in it. So here's Duke. Again, same thing. That looks like the exact same one that we had before. I have a feeling they made some changes, but I don't have anything to compare it to. And on him, he's going to give you, give you the TV show rifle. And then the same thing on the back. He has file card, five languages. I can reiterate it so many times. And then you have the, the cross cell. So it's the exact same. I like it. I think it does look nice. I just wish they do this a little bit better. But if you're going to be looking at the front, if you're going to hang it through your inbox collector, it has the plastic on the inside so it holds them in place. I do, I do like all that. Um, once again here, again on the box here on the bottom, that's where the extra accessories are. And this thing does really come with a bunch of accessories. So I have to say, I'm very happy with everything that they've got. I may not sound that happy because I have to redo this video again. <laughs> um, and just, let's just say, when I realized I deleted them before I started editing it, I just was like, I can't believe I just did that. So anyway. Let's take a look at the figures. No one wants to look at me anymore. See my pouty face and how disappointed I am in myself. So let's take a look at this. All right, so here's everything that we're getting. Again, cards look really nice. Nice and straight. So with the card stock being like this, it, it definitely changes what they were giving us with this. And especially for that price that these now are... Uh, it's a $42 set, so $21 a figure. And again, I think they're pretty pricey. 
that's for sure. So, we'll quickly, we'll look at everything that they come with. So, Cobra Commander, in the, in this case, he comes with his rifle, which is from the TV show. And I believe he only uses it in the opening montage. He has these binoculars. These detonators. So here's the detonator here. And he has this detonator. It has obviously count down to one. So I think that's cool. This here. You can tell that it's looks like it's trying to be like a, a radio wave that he's getting a frequency. The binoculars obviously have the Cobra symbol. And they're different, so that's cool that they just you know just didn't repaint. The G.I. Joe one, he does have his blaster that he uses in the TV show. And he has a couple little paint apps on it, nothing special. And then here is this. I, I don't even know what this is. Uh, Super 7 has, I think, the same thing. And then he has a scepter or whatever it is. Again, this is like harkens back to everything Super 7 just showed us. It, it almost feels like they're trying to shove it up Super 7's behind. <laughs> um, though they visited Super 7 when they uh, were out at San Diego Comic Con. And then he comes with the with his stand, which is nice. And he comes with his hair dryer. And I did look at it in the other one. There's your hair dryer. And it does. So here's the original Cobra Commander. It does fit in. So that's pretty cool. They did remold it to be the same. So we'll quickly take a look at the two. And so when you're looking here, look at the belt buckles. This one has the silver around it with the red emblem. This one's just red and it's black all the way around. They make this white, which I do believe is supposed to be more sunbow accurate. Both have the daggers on the side. They got the little stretch it goes around the boots. I think you'd wear that off a little bit too quickly. His gloves go up a little bit further. His Cobra emblem is definitely shifted over. Where this one is centered, this one is shifted over. He's wearing a blue shirt here. And then his little pendants or whatever it is are black. And it's even painted here. So if you look... Hope you can see some 4K. This is silver. You guys have the white stripe, which Cobra Commander does not, our vintage one. And on the back, what actually makes more sense is when you look here, I guess I never even noticed. I mean, I've seen this a million times, but this is the straps that's actually holding on the harness that will come, that holds on the pistol uh, that's coming with the uh, HasLab Cobra Commander. No, that's actually crazy. I never even realized that what's coming with it is actually supposed to be what plugs into the back. It's, um, that's, it's, it's pretty unique. So he doesn't have the stripe down the side like our vintage one. So everything else, he looks the same. So I could see them definitely doing another paint like him. And the Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander that will be coming with the HasLab Sky Striker, I'm assuming, will look the exact same. And again, he comes with all these accessories. So, I kind of remember what I did, because I went through everything. So, both his knees bend perfectly fine. 90 degrees, did not have any issue with it, like I did with the Cobra Officer. Elbows, both bend perfectly fine. Swivel arm battle grip. T poses. Can look back and forth. I wish they would make it so the neck could turn down. He has the O ring and the stretches, and they are nice and tight. There's no doubt about that. They do paint around here. I think it's starting to look better. Maybe I'm just getting used to it, where the rivets on the original ones were always. They weren't normally painted the same color so it kind of looks odd but this one actually doesn't bother me too much 
So the thumbs here, just like the other ones, it's a softer plastic. So I can just kind of put in any of the weapons and we're not gonna worry about something like this breaking the thumb. So hopefully 20 years down the road, we don't have broken thumbs and we don't have broken crotches. I do believe they said they thickened the crotch up so we don't have to worry about it breaking. So if you do have kids, you should be okay with them playing with your $21 O-ring figure. And I did test this out and had no issues. No breaking of the heel. I did try and put it on this Cobra Commander on the original video. I'm not going to press it. It really wasn't fitting. I'm not about to snap a heel on an 82 or 83 Cobra Commander to uh, see if it works. <laughs> so there's your Cobra Commander. How he looks. How he compares to the vintage. Now let's take a look at Duke. And let's just say he looks way, way different. So... Let's get Cobra Commander's weapons and everything out of the way. And see what Duke comes with. So he comes with this bazooka, which I believe came with the Cobra Officer or the Cobra Trooper. It's missing the top piece, which came with that. We have his backpack, which looks exactly like the original, but this is more of a matte. It does have a sheen or a gloss to it. We have our Sunbow laser rifle. It is nice and straight. His helmet, which is very green. Now this one here does have a hole for the visor, which mine, the one that I have here, doesn't. I actually have another one up on eBay right now that does have the holes. He comes with the stand that looks more like, I believe, the 25th anniversary stands. But the pegs are obviously different, so they fit his. It's hollow on the bottom. And then it has a plug here for the flag, which I do like the U.S. flag. I wish it was a little bit not as straight. Maybe make it kind of flop down a little, but it has the tassels on it. So they put some paint apps into it. It looks decent. He has a submachine gun. He has his binoculars. And here's his jump pack, which I like the way the jump pack is. <coughs> I really like the way the jump pack is. So when you pop it off, this just comes off around it. So now you're looking at a regular Duke. So I'm going to show you quickly. When you do put the jump pack on, because of how this wraps around it, it's obviously going to create a nice gap, but they made it so when you put the jump pack on, you can see that distance that it creates where his backpack doesn't give you the same thing. So I like it. They looked at that. They took some into consideration that, hey, this might have some issues if it's too short with this on it. So I think they did a good job and I like that it's two different parts. All right, so now let's compare our two Dukes. I'm going to slowly take his gun out. Pop his helmet off. His binoculars and his backpack. So quickly, we'll take a look at the backpacks. And if you look here, you can tell they're pretty much the same. The original one is glossy. The new one is more of a matte, but for the most part, they all look the same. I think the detail on this is a little bit better, but all the way to the back. Not the easiest thing to hold, but all the way to the back, there's nothing on it, so they didn't really sculpt it that way. And you have a submachine gun. It is a different shade of green. This is the same machine gun that should come with Stalker. And the detail is all there. It looks really nice. I have no issues with it. I really think they did a pretty good job recreating this. Binoculars, same thing. You can definitely see the difference. All right, 
one is more glossy. This one is much softer. Where these ones here, this one actually isn't even cracked, which I think is hard to come by, an uncracked one, but they look the exact same. This one is thicker, kind of bends, but I wouldn't bend it too much. I've heard really bad things about the Storm Shadow Nunchucks just snapping for no reason. I haven't had that issue, but I've had people that have told me that they've just broken just standing there. And then again, so we went over that. Yeah. Then the helmet, which I mentioned, has the holes for the visor with mine. Does not. Okay. So there you go. Now it's kind of hard to see there. So now let's take a look at the two Dukes and see how they look. So right off the bat, you can tell this is way more cartoon accurate. Very yellow, very green pants. But for the most, for the most part, the molds are the exact same or they sculpt them as much as they could. So Yeah, it's yellow, this bandolier. Now, if you look closely here, you can see the gold on the bandolier for the uh, for the clasp. He has his little gold wings, which he also has on here. So everything's the same all the way up to the grenade. They put the little red straps on his shoulders, which he does not have here, although you can see there were there was spot for paint if they wanted to do it. His sidearm, his holster is brown now, which I do like. I like that they put some paint into it. He now has a painted belt rather than being the same same color as his pants. And it even has a nice little gold clasp there. Now the boots on the other hand, they're all the exact same. There's no real paint apps. They didn't paint the knife or anything, so they left that all the same. So for the most part, it's the same. I, I do like it for, you know, again, for what it is. I've never been a Duke fan. But now let's get to his face, and this is going to be probably my only real gripe, is that his face looks absolutely awful. He actually looks like... He actually looks like one of the um, shorts from a robot chicken, the way that they talk. Like, it's to his side. Like, they don't even have to, they don't even have to add it in. They can just make it, like, sound like, you know, like, like he's talking through the side. Um, his eyes just don't look right. I think this is an awful, awful face sculpt. I mean, he's not screaming Duke, so that's a plus. And even though I'm not a fan of this Duke, it just, it's a nice clean look. And this face is just, it's, it's hideous. It's awful. They, they missed out there <laughs> big time. Uh, but hey, that's really the only gripe that I have with this so far. As for the pegs, it just pops down nice and easy. But if you want something uniform, you're going to have to pick up another another stand because this one is clearly bigger. So there's some things that they don't, in my opinion, they don't really think out. Uh, you would think maybe that you'd put a Cobra one with this, but they just give them the regular one. It's nice that they did this so you can put the flag. But unfortunately, if you want them uniformed, and that really doesn't bother me too much, you're not going to have it. So as for the weapons... They do use a softer plastic. Um, you can actually flex these, as you can see, but they're not bad. They are straight. Every single one of these is straight. I have not had a single issue looking at any of them being bent, which is good, but they're also not hard and ready. You know, they're not hard and brittle. I, I, you're not going to break them unless you try and break them. It is definitely a different feel than the original, which is a hard plastic, but still soft. Like, you don't have to worry about it. But they're not a plastic that's going to end up breaking. And even the pistols are completely straight. No issues. This one here, this is the type of one you would think 
if any of them were going to have an issue, something like this. But it's straight. You can feel it in the in the handle here. It's a little soft, but I don't have a problem with this type of uh, resilient softness, whatever you want to call it, with the weapons. I think it's actually pretty decent. I'm not sure if these, like the uh, the straps are gonna break, like we've seen on some of the other ones. I have seen, you know, videos or pictures where the like i said the nunchucks break different things like this so i do like the figures so far this has probably been the pack that gives me the most bang for my buck so now you looked at the figures let's wrap it up oh yeah one more thing that i forgot to add i know i've mentioned this before and this is disappointing especially for what's coming with the sky striker if you backed it is that if you take the vintage backpack it will not fit all right they use a different size hole that is a big gripe of mine i don't know if you're gonna have the exact same issues with the haslab sky striker but imagine if you have another figure maybe an airborne that you want to fit in the back of the sky striker and they use pegs it's not exactly gonna fit properly i guess it won't be that big of a deal because airborne would have a bigger peg, bigger hole, and it would just kind of fit in and he just sit there, but Duke is not gonna stay on. So you can see how they just, they're just too small. I don't know why they decided that there was a need to do the holes two different sizes, but they're not even close. You can't even, you can even push it in if you wanted to. So that was something, I know I mentioned it in the first video that I did. I was wrapping it up. About to edit this one and figured, oh, I forgot to say it. So, jumped in. It's at the end of that part. So, that's it. All right. Now I'm going to wrap it up. All right. So, that's it for our Cobra Commander and our Duke. And I am going to say I am pleasantly surprised with everything that we got for this. Uh, compared to what we have before, I know we've got a bunch of stuff that went with, um, you know, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, and then the Cobra Officer and the Cobra Trooper. Uh, Snake Eyes, he seemed to come with stuff from version 3 Snake Eyes. Didn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, Storm Shadow came with, you know, a, 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 an extra nunchuck. I didn't really need it other than I hear that they break, so... That's an issue. Cobra, Cobra Officer and Cobra Trooper kind of came stuff with, with stuff that harkened back to J.C. Penny stuff. This here, to me, is what I want to see in the O-ring, where it's like, this is a different style of Cobra Commander. He's a different paint scheme. He's from the cartoon, same with Duke, but he comes with all this stuff that came or that you saw in the opening montage, same with Duke. So Duke comes with the American flag. If you remember, he's flying with it. He has his jump pack. He comes with, you know, his gun along with his backpack that, you know, we had with our original figure. But then he actually comes with the cartoon accurate weapon, which was Snow Job's gun. So it's not like it's wow, like we've never seen that before. But, you know, Cobra Commander, he comes with his, you know, his staff or whatever you want to call this. But all this stuff that it comes with, it, it all fits if you want to recreate the beginning of the um, the episode. So I really like this. My gripe is definitely Duke's face. There's no doubt about that. I think it looks awful. Uh, I know you can't get everything right every time, but it seems like they have such a hard time ever doing... Duke's face right. He's always screaming. It always looks awful. I don't know. He's like, Duke is the Princess Leia of G.I. Joe when it comes to uh, the sculpts. Uh, I love the card stock. I love that they changed it. I do keep my cards even though I open it. What is disappointing to see is that I know, I guess that I've seen, well, I've heard of one and then I've seen another one that they actually melted. And I, when I say they melted, I mean like, 
this thing had melted completely around Duke's helmet. All of this had just melted right around the figure. And the guy that showed this picture on the Facebook page, he also showed the um, a picture of a stormtrooper that did the exact same thing. So that just makes you wonder, like, hey, this plant-based plastic that they're using, which is better for the environment, is it going to melt at extreme heats? These things sit in, you know, in containers for quite some time, and who knows how they're doing things. I mean, everything's a mystery. Now, Hasbro's pretty good about contacting them if you get this, and it's, you know, if something's bad about you returning it and getting your money back, but I'm not buying something to get my money back. That's a waste of my time. I want stuff to come out as good as it can from the beginning. So anyway, um, that's my review. That's my take on this. I swear I even went longer in this video than the original. I really want to do like, um, you know, live openings. You know, not live, but um, real-time reaction. Because I wanted to open I opened it up. So there was no like confusion of, hey, you know what? Is, there, is yours melted? We're all going to be surprised at the same time if it was melted, but it wasn't. Um, the fact that I deleted the videos, there was like four different videos on there. And I deleted it to make space because I do everything on my phone. And a lot of times when I convert everything, um, the final one, it airs out. So I went and deleted the videos that I had already done. And... <sighs> Let's just say when I went to try and start doing it while watching Geek Dad Life, oh, I saw that it was gone and I had already erased all my deleted. So I guess this is it. This will be the definitive final version. I will not delete this. Let's just say it may only seem to take like a half hour to do these but it's just it can sometimes be very frustrating so that actually is work um but anyway i'm gonna get out of here listen you guys know the drill i want to see your comments what you have to say if you got these if yours melted i want to hear about it if you have pictures of it check out the the facebook page punks with toys i'll put a description to this video in it um a description to the link to this video for the thread. You know, whatever. Because I want to see uh, other people that had it. Because clearly, I mean, hey, I got lucky. I mean, hell, seems like every time there's an issue with the Battleverse, I'm the one that gets the bad one. So, listen, these came in good, but I know that other people are having issues. And it, it needs to be addressed. So it may not have happened to me, but if you're having issues with these cars melting, contact Hasbro tell them post online they do look at this stuff and they tend to in my opinion from what i'm saying they do want to correct a lot of different things so i know i don't want to open up a figure and find out that the plastic is melted but hell maybe that's their scheme to say hey you know what this is why we want to go plastic free boxes don't melt they they burn but they don't melt. <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna get out of here um instagram and twitter a pump with toys you guys know that you guys all should be following me, but I um, don't have as many. Also, the last thing I want to say before I get out of here is I just reached over 700 subscribers on here. I want to say thank you to every single one of you. I want to say thank you to everyone else. I know I ask in every video, like, subscribe, um, follow. There's a lot of YouTubers, a lot of videos I watch. I forget to like, I forget to subscribe. Um, but I appreciate every single one of you that stops by to watch this, even if it's just to get some information because you're trying to decide if you want to buy these. I made the investment, so I'm willing to give you, hopefully, an honest review of everything that you're going to see. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Check out the YouTube, or the YouTube page. On YouTube right now. Check out the Facebook page. Punks with Toys. There will be a description in here. Um, like, follow, subscribe. You know the deal. And anyway, here you go. Subscribe here. Watch this video. And everyone, have a wonderful night. And happy toy hunting.